So one of the key things to look for in observation, if you are a third party, whether you are a pastor or a coach or a counselor or a professional of some other kind intervening in these, and that is to look for the presence of empathy. Someone who is consistently abusive will show deficits in empathy. And the lack of empathy that allows someone to continue to perpetrate abuse against another person is what will keep them perpetrating abuse against another person. If they cannot enter, if they cannot set themselves aside and enter into the feeling that they are causing in that other person, then you are dealing with a, someone on the abuser spectrum and not just a regular selfish person who had a really bad day. And we are all selfish people. There is no human on earth that is good. We all have bad days. Sometimes we have bad weeks. We deal with things. But the question is, are you, are you actually dealing with it? And an abusive person can be very convincing at first and crying and saying they are so sorry, but then do they change? Is the bulk of their invested energy into never doing that again? Or is it into making sure that person doesn't catch them again?